Okay. All right, let me throw this in the truck. I'll try a stupid bee trick first. Well, let's see what we got. Well, I, I might cut the day short. <laughs> well, I might have to. I mean, you know, you go smoking it, then it doesn't it doesn't prove anything, does it? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so in theory, you're supposed to smoke the bees. You're supposed to have a bee veil on, and uh, in order to work them. So these bees we enjoy because of their their gentleness. And I've been bold enough in the past, so I just will try it today, to do this. They should fly right in the entrance. They don't seem too upset. No, they just want to get back to the hive. They want to get back to their, their work. Right, yeah. see? Well, see, this is what we... That's how we test them. Take a bare hand, go like that. Normally, they would be jumping on you. Did you see any bee stings? I didn't feel any. No, no, you didn't get stung at all. No, not one. But we got to make sure the queen. We don't want the queen on something. That oh, way. you don't want to lose the queen. No. Yeah. Okay, this is why. Okay. See the laying pattern? Just, just. Yeah, go ahead and look in at the laying pattern. All the eggs. Are now, are you open. sure you want to do this? Or you, you know, I, I mean, just did it. Well, okay, be careful. Yeah, when you find her, this queen's valuable. She is the one I want to breed on. This next. is our next generation of breeder. And there, she's a little bit hard to spot because she's just very common looking, even though she's, she's very big uncommon. And not, not flashy. Here, look at this. Uh, well, you look at that one, and then we'll trade because we'll make sure we get her. He and I, for all the years we've sat in the bee yard. Look at, uh, that, look at that laying pad. That's what I like. Look, look at this laying pad. Look, look, look in there. Look at that. You've seen. Yeah, before. yeah. That's that's wall what you're. To wall. That's what you're after right, right. there. Yeah. Wall to wall. You want yeah. lots of brood. Look at this. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the real deal right All there. All the way out to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, this is what I say. Look at this frame. Same thing. She's on here. So now these are the alpha bees. This yeah. is like an alpha three. Well, yeah, this is our newest several version. Several generations into the uh, process. Is hard, this hard? is the alpha three yeah. on this yeah. one here. But they're hard. She's hard oh, to she find is. because she's, it, she's so common looking. Colored just so neutral. Yeah, she's just just going in. Not weird. Let's see, let's see if you see anything on there. Well, there is something I can do. But so well, I dumped them on my head, and that was enough. Yeah. You know, from bees, if you take a lid full of non-nurse bees and dump it on your head, there's a good chance you'll get. Yeah, it done. Don't, don't, yeah. Let's not push our luck here. <laughs> and the other thing you don't do, is you're working bees like this, is you you don't put your face yeah. in. Okay. Uh, okay, we get the point. Do I, you, you, you know, Bob. Mean, this is a joke. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't average every beekeeper really? to do this. You don't need to. Uh, we get the idea here. <laughs> yeah, she's hard. That's cat brood. Now, where's that queen? you got to find that queen. I haven't found her yet. I don't want to lose her. Well, I hope she hasn't taken off or something. No, 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 no. She's. So I checked her last week, and I'm like, man, this thing is just beautiful. They're just so hard to find. It smells good. Doesn't it? Mm. Now, what are they bringing in right now? I don't know. I'd have to taste it to tell you. That's never stopped you before. Oh, she's got to be on that well, one. Well, yeah, because there's eggs and stuff here. Yeah, there's eggs everywhere. She's big. She could be on the box side, too. Oh, she could be on the lid. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. That would have been horrible. I did check the lid. Oh, you did? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Wait, there she is. There she is. Yeah. Thank you, man. You got the eye. So let's try to hold still for yeah, her, right there at the tip of there. my finger. She, she's there big. There she goes, yeah. And weird look, it just not Looks flashy. like all the other bees. Yeah, that just kind of blends around. right in. Uh -huh. Looks like a healthy queen. Oh yeah. Very. She's about, she's about two months old. And then let's she's see the pollen. Oh, yeah. There's a bee with a, some pollen. <clears throat> she's got a bunch of yellow coming in. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, right let's in. track of her again. It's right there. She Where'd she go? Disappears so fast. Oh yeah, I can't even see her. Okay. Oh, there she goes. There. Yeah. yeah. She's on your but foot. see, look, look. Mm-hmm. They don't care. You want her over there? Yeah. Okay. There she, oh, there she is on the top. Yeah, she's a good sized queen. <sighs> this is what I want to start grafting.
think, Robert? No smoke, barehanded, no veil. That's what you're after. Yep. That's what we're after. Especially in a situation like this with all the, with, with some of the workers around. Well, yes, with these oh, yeah, down absolutely. here, they're picking and so forth. And yeah. I just... You can't I, afford I, to have I, nasty bees. I come from a long line of beekeepers. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, and both of his brothers were beekeepers. And the one thing he pounded into my head is you have a responsibility as a beekeeper to make sure people don't get stung. Don't pull in with a load of bees at a service station yeah, with I lights mean, on at night when you're moving. If you can have gentle bees, you, there's no reason not to try to breed them. Why not? I mean, there's yeah. nothing but, there's no downside. Now, what's down here? What are we doing down here? Let's look at some of the production. These okay. are babies. Here. Uh-huh. These are upgraded. Now, are these some of your drone? This is what we call our drone um, Population? Still breeder queens in their second year. Or uh -huh. third year. So these we're, are two we're, we, we've high graded what we've got and left behind what we've bred that we're happy with for drones, for the males, to mate with these queens when they hatch out. You didn't use your smoker, did you? On the front. Oh. What's well, the point? We're not going to prove anything if we smoke them. <laughs> it's only the new stuff I worry about, and it's coming out good. So now, is this, uh, what does this it's mean? Alpha. What does this one mean here? Alphas. That's alpha. just a way of marking. Oh, okay. Okay, so here you go again. Now, this is a full grown colony. All kinds of honey going on here. Producing honey, yeah. Oh, yeah. And brood clear up to here, just a little bit at the bottom. Well, do you want to taste the honey, Robert? <laughs> Let me see what it is, yeah. I got this you know me, that one's got uh, eggs on it, the closest one to you. Right here? Oh, yeah. no, I don't want to mess with that. But this one looks like it's mostly honey. Wait a minute, right here, that looks all new. Yeah, they, they've drawn wax. Some of these frames weren't the best when I put them in. Oh yeah, they were they were in need of. All right, let me check. Oh, that looks. That look, that's lemon. Yeah, yeah you can just tell. the color of it. It's lemon. Hmm. Lemon. Can I try a little oh, bit? Oh, oh yeah. Let me see. Carefully, don't get stuck. Oh, nice. Hmm. Mm, is that good or what? Good stuff. Man. Well, that's not good. Well, we're here. Yeah, because Drone see frames. what you put in there uh, uh, a while back with just, was this just with raw stuff. stuff, see, and it's starting to get pulled out. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're working on it, but I like to check the drawers. Now, how long has this queen been in here? Oh, it's oh, two years. A couple of years, I guess. Oh, okay. Never requeened. Still doing great. Last These are our, uh, drone, our, drone, our drones. For, we put drone comb in there deliberately to get her delayed a lot of drones so we can mate with these queens and keep, you know, some degree of consistency without line breeding and creating some uh, uh, misconception of, of, of purity. So now don't you uh, requeen every year then on no, these? No, or? no, no. That's not to. the... No, uh, not the objective is to have to bother with requeening. It's these, these bees have a tendency to requeen themselves. You only requeen because you want a new queen. Or roll as long as the old queen one. is doing well, there's no point in requeening. And they go drone layer, as most beekeepers understand. What happens is they run out of, uh, they they start laying male eggs, and uh, they so you think they may they might requeen themselves every couple of years? They requeen themselves as soon as, as the queen exhibits a malfunction. Mm -hmm. So she starts laying non-fertilized eggs. We watch it. We've yeah. watched it many, many, many times. Okay, now this, I'm going to tap this board. Oh, so. God, let me get out of here. Uh, uh, uh. Run away. Run away. Run, but run. But they will, something like that, I don't care what you are, you're going to get a little. Yeah, you always get a, a one or two. Well, now, Wayne, why do you have your bee suit on then? If you're, <laughs> you know, what's a, you, huh? I drive what's my, the deal? I drive my truck with my seatbelt on, too, because you okay, never well. know when you're going to okay, need it. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's free, too. Just it doesn't checking. cost me anything. But I haven't had nothing. I wouldn't have been stung yet. And here's one. This one's requeened itself twice on its own. This is one of the oldest ones we've got. Oh yeah. We have two that we know of because we put a when we put a queen in, we put it in a wooden cage with mm -hmm. a, a screen on it, and I put the date on it. Um, and we've got two that I know we you know if we requeen it, we put that on the lid. You know, we mark what we're doing right, so we right. can keep. Otherwise, you can't it's just guesswork. Can't. Keep track, yeah. And so, this one right here is swarm approximately the first of May. So it's warm. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. And uh, I think, okay. 
then we got to figure out she recleaned herself, but she did. She's yeah. laying. Tons of eggs are removed. Fine, you know. Now we check temperament. You know, it changes yeah, yeah, over because time. Yeah, because if uh, it, it, it can change, we can just monitor it. We monitor it to try to develop a bee that almost anybody could work with, and that particularly they're not going to get the workers on the ranches uh, most subject. Guy goes by on a tractor. Uh, they're working really close to the orchard picking, and you've just been in there working the bees. That stirs them up, and then pretty soon you've got these bees swarming around. They're looking for somebody to sting, and these poor guys come in here to, to pick, and they get stung, and it's no good. And this isn't going to happen here, otherwise I'd be stung now just by lifting a little. Well, it's uh, looks like you guys are onto something here. Our drone, drone bank. Mm-hmm. Another alpha, an alpha. Alpha, yeah. This is one B. They're all graded. One A, A1. That one A. Exclamation. That. We could still graft off of her. Mm -hmm. I don't think Robert, myself, anyone else would have any qualms if we got more queens like that. We want to have more than just one. we got to have several choices. If it were something to happen, get sprayed or something like that, we don't want to lose this. So we've got them spread around.